my god guys this is so beautiful oh my gosh <laughs> Oh my gosh, this video was supposed to go up so long ago, but when I tell you there has just been so much going on, there's been so much going on. I'm so glad that I finally was able to get this finished filmed, edited, and uploaded because my god, <laughs> life has been life in, guys. Life has been life in. But I am back and I know I feel like it's been a while since I've done any nail art. So I do have this fun fall nail art to share with you along with these gorgeous polishes that were sent to me to review by Madame Glam. So if you'd like to see more and see how the nail art turned out, keep on watching. Hey everyone, I know long time there's just been a lot going on and I kind of had to deal with some personal stuff first before I did some filming, but I'm still here life is lifing and i'm tired <laughs> but this video is like so long overdue so i want to get this out of the way before i do anything else so i've got this package that was sent to me by madame glam thank you madame glam for this package i've got some great polishes to share with you yes i've got my hand covering my address you know the internet's a scary place <laughs> i have but been dying to open this but I really wanted to have like the same first impressions as you guys so I said I would wait until I had the time and everything calmed down a bit in my life and share this with you so let's take a look Okay, so this one comes in this really cute box I don't know if you remember the last video that I shared with you, I'll actually have it linked in the cards. I think it's in the top right hand corner for you guys. The last box was black. I kind of like this though. I love black, you know, sleek because it's anything. But I like that it's like different boxes. <laughs> oh, look at the goodies. Oh, the top came off of the purple one, of course. Uh, deviant purple deviant purple what will i say about you but i really love the colors uh, okay let's take everything out just like the last time we got another one of these cards which basically explains the vip membership and lets you know and learn a little bit more about the Glam. and just like the last time it gives you like the little um pamphlet that explains also you know how the soak off gels work and application steps as well so in total there i was sent nine polishes one is a top coat one is a base coat and the rest are colors so let's get started with some swatches all right so the first gel i will be sharing with you is called high vibration and just by like the color or i guess picture or whatever you want to call it on the bottle it looks like it's gonna be a glitter <music> Oh my god guys this is so beautiful oh my gosh vibration in one coat guys this is so much fun so much fun the glitter it's i would describe this as like a multicolored glitter suspended in a clear base 
and we've got like some blue you can see some hollow i'm seeing some teal oh my gosh even like like almost some black glitter too it is such a stunning glitter i really i really really <laughs> i'm really in love with this guys i'm not even joking i really love this and especially with like christmas and new year's coming this would be like the perfect addition to like you know maybe if you don't want to do too much nail art and you just want like maybe a gorgeous red and then an accent nail with this mm. even for new year's mm. really really stunning glitter <laughs> here we have high vibration with the second coat so as you guys can see like with the first coat it was it still had a good amount of glitter um payoff to it but with the second coat it really really like condensed that and made it a lot more full coverage so i don't see why you can't get away with this oh my gosh okay i think i might have to use this for like an accent nail for christmas or for new year's because this is just so pretty so so pretty i'm so glad to have this in my collection and here's high vibration against my skin tone so like do you guys understand what i'm saying like with the glitter like it is really really pigmented or i guess we wouldn't call this pigmented but it it is densely packed with glitter yeah that's a better it's densely packed with glitter because like you can barely see the red obviously you can see it at the bottom but like at the tip here you can't even really see it so like this would be so fun for new year's for christmas maybe for like a birthday set as an accident like the possibilities are endless i know i say this all the time but when you think about it they really really are endless the next color i have to share with you is this red it looks like by the color on the bottle is like almost an orangey red if that makes sense but this one is called love out loud it's funny my camera is picking up more of the orange in this but it's more red leaning in real life but the um color on the bottle is it's really close to what i'm seeing in real life with the first coat so i would definitely go in with the second coat because as you can see i am seeing some um, sparseness just in this general area but it is a really nice uh gel it is a cream and it definitely does have like some orange undertones which would make this like a very pretty fall color i know like my nails have christmas on it but technically it's still far fall but winter has not come yet and we're approaching christmas we're not quite there yet so you know there's still time for these fall colors guys just there's still time okay okay and technically you can wear this any time of the year like this would still work like with some really nice christmas nail art as well but yes it is a very very nice color to have to your collection and here is love out loud so just as i expected the second coat really helped to even everything out and gave it that full opacity that I was looking for. Again, very buttery, very smooth. Nothing that's unexpected from Madame Glam. I'm really, really loving their gels. Like, if you don't have, again, you should really go and get some to add to your own collection. Here is Love Out Loud against my skin tone. So as you can see, like, I would honestly consider this more of a curly because you can kind of see the stamping on my nail, but not really. But again, these are such fun um, gels because Curly's, it's like a hybrid between, um, between cream and a jelly polish. So you can actually, like, there's quite a bit of things that you can do with Curly's. Again, like, even for nail art, really, really good to use for nail art. Next up, I'll be sharing Perfect Black 
the name speaks for itself the bond speaks for itself i don't need to go into depth about this it is a black gel <laughs> I've heard nothing but great things about Madame Glam's white and black. So I really want to try Perfect Black because I also needed a black. I was running low. So perfect timing. Let's look at this one. <laughs> black in one fold it is a really really nice black gel there's not much to say it is black it has really good coverage i will say that black and white sometimes can be tricky but this one was really smooth it is a cream so it glided on i have no complaints and i'm actually really glad that i was able to add this to my collection i will say i will definitely be buying like a few bottles of backup of this just because you know black and white are really staples in terms of like nail art or background so especially like if you want chromes you can use black or white so yes i will definitely be making sure to add a backup of this and i also want to try the perfect white as well and this is perfect black i didn't realize it touched <laughs> the green when it went in the lamp so there's a bit of green on the tip but this is perfect black I mean, what more can I say? It's a great black. One coverage, I didn't need to do two coats, so I can't complain. I'm very pleased with it. I'm glad to have it in my collection. Up next is Prosperous. And by the bottle, I'm gonna assume like this is a green, maybe a dark forest green, maybe? This is a really nice green. Ooh, this is really nice. And here is Prosperous with the first coat. So as you can see, I definitely would need to go in with a second coat because you can see some sparseness in here. But it is a cream and it is a really nice color. I usually don't lean towards greens, but I like to have them in my collection because I do have clients that like them. And, you know, sometimes I might need it for nail art or I might feel for a green. So I was really glad to add this. Now, I wouldn't consider this a forest green. Mm, it's more like olive-y, if that makes sense, like an olive green. Yeah. More of an olive green, I would say that. And here's Prosperous with the second coat. So again, that second coat really, really helped to give it like that full opacity that I was looking for. It actually is a really nice fall green. It is a really nice fall green. I'm still leaning towards like an olivey green though, but really, really nice regardless. And here we have Prosperous against my skin tone. You know what? This is a green I would wear. I would actually wear this. And that's saying a lot because I usually run very, very far from greens. But like, give me a good army green. Yeah, a good forest green. Look. <laughs> but this one you know i i i actually ended up liking this a lot more than i thought i would so i'm very pleased about that actually one of my clients was looking for a green and i think this might be the perfect green for her i'm gonna have to show this to her and let her see okay and next is pumpkin pie and the name is kind of like a giveaway <laughs> it's like an orange i want to say Red orange deep orange i'm assuming 
just off of the color i have to wait till i open it because i haven't even looked at any of these i literally am getting the same reaction as you guys as i open all of them <laughs> Definitely more of a burnt orange. I don't think I shook it good enough, so I'm just gonna give it another shake. Here is pumpkin pie with the first coat. As you can see, again, this one is definitely going to need two coats. I am seeing some separation just in here and here and some sparseness. But it is a really, really nice fall orange. I don't think I have one relatively close to this. So I'm really glad to have this in my collection because, again, great for fall. Great for Halloween. I know that's past. You know, Thanksgiving. Like, anything like that, this can go well with. And... Again, if you feel like it, you can wear it any time throughout the year, but I would more lean towards a color like this in the fall, but I actually wouldn't wear like, a full nail of this. It would be like an accent nail or a full set, I should say, of this color just because like I find oranges hard for me to pull off. Some of them work great. This one, I'm kind of like, I need to try to see how I would like it, but it is a really nice orange regardless, and it is a cream as well. <music> And here is pumpkin pie so just like the other gels only needed two coats okay this is coming across a bit brighter than it is in real life like this is a very like deep orange definitely a pumpkin orange so the name suits it perfectly very very stunning for fall and here is pumpkin pie this is very nice i'm still kind of humming and hawing if it's you know what i would wear it i lied i would wear it I actually would because there's a design I had in my mind to do for fall and this would have been the perfect orange to use for it so yeah I would actually wear it again as you can see very opaque you can't see the design under my nail um shoot I have a brain fart um ah that's what it was this would look <laughs> so amazing matte I feel like this would look like such a great matte color and the second last gel that I'll have to share with you is called Virgo. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> if you guys don't know, yes, I am a Virgo. So yes, I wanted this. And yes, I'm glad that I have it because <gasps> why not? So as you can tell by the bottle, I believe this is, I want to say like it's maybe a teal. Tealy blue. <laughs> Yep, definitely like a teal. And here is a Virgo with the first coat. This one has a thinner formula, kind of like Prosper, so I'm wondering if they're the same kind of formula. Maybe like one of those Crellies, like it's a cross between a jelly and a cream, I want to say. But it's still very nice. I A good teal is a great addition for anyone's collection. And I feel like this one, like you can use all year round. So I'm really, really to see. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like. And this is Virgo <laughs> against my skin tone. So as you know, the second coat really gave it that good coverage. I love like even though this one was like another Crelly type of um, gel that... It is opaque, like it is nicely opaque. 
and I love when you can build up gels like that, especially curlies. And the last gel I have to share with you is this gorgeous purple, and it's called Witch's Night. Now you guys know I love purple, so in my eyes, purple can do no wrong, okay? Yeah, there's some purples that I just don't like, or that I only like certain times of year, but purples like these, oh my god. If it's the type of purple I'm thinking, oh my god. I could wear this anytime. I don't care because it's purple. I'm wearing it. That's me. <laughs> it's one of like my favorite shades of purple guys okay in real life it is a bit darker than how it's appearing on my camera but like oh it's purple i love i love a good deep purple <laughs> night with the first coat oh guys <laughs> i know that this is gonna be so amazing once it's built up to that second coat i feel like had i gone in with thicker coats with most of these i could have very easily gotten away with one coat but i prefer to do two coats just to be on the safe side but i know i know this is gonna be gorgeous I just know, I can feel it. This is gonna be a beautiful purple. If you don't have anything like this in your collection, you need to dive on over to a damn glam and add this to your cart and get it home to you. <music> This is Witch's Night with the second coat. I love purple. 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 I don't know how many more times I could say I love purple. Like, I genuinely believe my blood is purple. I know it's not, but you know, like, I love purple to that extreme. I love purple. All time favorite. So, this, uh, this makes my heart so happy. And last but not least, we have Witch's Night. And of course, I love it. I have like, I have no complaints. I love it. It's purple. Come on. You guys should know by now that I was going to love this. I adore this. Oh, God. Oh, I can't wait to put this on my nails. I love, I love this color so much. So I decided that I would do some nail art since I have not done nail art oh gosh on this channel in a long time and i really really love nail art so i kind of want to get back into doing it a bit more so basically right now what i'm doing is i'm just going in with um gel x prep and basically this would help the polish the gel polish to adhere to the press on tip easier So I think I'm gonna go in, I think I'm just gonna do an orange fall set. We'll see how this turns out because I really don't have like a specific idea. But anyways, because I really liked this orange, this is pumpkin pie. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint all the nails this color. I'm going in with the same color in each nail. I don't really need to show you guys all of that. All right, so this is what we have so far. I went in and I put on two coats of pumpkin pie. This orange is actually really nice, guys. Like, I, I, it's growing on me. It really is. It's a very nice orange. And that's saying a lot coming from Moa. 
So next, I will be going in with Ugly Duckling's matte top coat. I'm going to go ahead and just mattify all of them. I don't need all of them to be matte. But for right now, just so I don't get any, like, air dust or anything like that to landing on nails, I'm just going to go ahead and make them all matte. <laughs> So here's what they look like um, once taken out of my lamp. So I did go ahead and cure the Ugly Duckling matte top coat for two minutes. So the Ugly Duckling matte top coat, it does have an inhibition layer or a patchy layer if you will. So I'm just going to go ahead and with some cleanser and wipe off each and every. <laughs> As you can see so this is what they look like matte guys tell me this done blah, blah, blah. tell me that this color does not look stunning matte oh my goodness i'm really starting to gravitate towards this color i was actually gonna use like some more colors from what was sent to me by madame glam but like i really love this orange as the background and i didn't want to take away too much from it so i think using this as a background and then going in with some stamping will be absolutely perfect so i am gonna go ahead and just add my top coat and this will give me like a sticky lens for what I am trying to achieve. Oh my god, look at how beautiful this color looks with the top coat on it. So I'm starting with the pinky. So I'm gonna do the pinky and the, I think it's the ring finger I said I was doing. I'm gonna start with the pinky and the middle finger. Sorry, not the ring finger. The pinky and the middle. <laughs> So I went ahead off camera and I pulled off some little gold pieces of flake. I'm going to see if this is going to work. Remember, I am kind of winging this off the top of my head as I go along. I might need to break up some more pieces. <laughs> So I am going to be going in with some stamping and I am going to be using two different plates. So this plate here is CGS 86 and as you can tell it's like a really fun fall plate. And then I'll also be going in with this Four Seasons Autumn 01. I really love Lena stamping plates as well and as you can see like there's such a variety of crits. I'm going to go ahead and remove the inhibition there because as we all know... That is what happens when I use my ugly duckling my pack coat. 
Ooh, that looks really nice matte too. Ooh, I'm contemplating glossier matte finish. So let's see. So because I am going to go in and do some chrome stamping, I am going to um, use this red. And there is a green in this palette that I want to use as well. I mean, I could use the red, green for, and gold from this palette, but I don't really want to. As you can tell, like this is the stamper that I use for my chrome stamping. Sorry if the camera's shaking a bit, guys. And like, I'm not really like going in with any rhyme or reason. I kind of just want to like mix the colors together. <laughs> Also want to go in with like a gold phrase so I don't know if I should because then I don't want the gold to get lost like when I stamp it so let's hope for the best guys <laughs> so for my stamping I am gonna go in with clear jelly stamper sticky stamping polish I really really love this it's like really nice it's just that obviously it's clear so you kind of have to see and be careful like where you line up your images and whatnot i'm gonna use these images it kind of gives off like a blowing leaf effect so yeah i'm gonna use these ones <laughs> So you can see it there, and then I'm just gonna... Ooh, oh my gosh, okay, it came out. It came out, guys, it came out. Okay, guys. Okay, 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 okay. That came out better than how I was expecting or envisioning it in my head, because I wasn't sure if the green and the gold would be too overpowering but it turns out that was not the case so that makes me extremely happy so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the middle finger <laughs> For the words, I will be going in and using this chrome. As I said, like that's why I didn't really want to use the other one. This one's almost finished, so I might as well just use it. I, I don't know how I almost finished it. I think one of my kids got a hold of it, of course. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I am gonna go with the Happy Autumn. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Happy Autumn. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with crisp air because on the pinky because it's smaller and I think it's gonna fit better, but it's still gonna pull together for the look I'm going for since, you know, it's all about fall for this nail look here. Okay, so for the ring finger and index finger i'm gonna go in with this image and do like a full fall nail chrome stamping <laughs> The gold was a bit more overpowering, so I'm gonna go, but like you can kind of see the red 
the gold like really took over so i'm gonna put more green next time but i like how this came out guys <music> Okay, yes, I love this, guys. Sorry, I keep forgetting when I pick this up, it just does not want to focus. But, like, look, I love it. 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 Okay, so it's actually really funny because for the thumb, I had a completely different idea. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as an accent at the corner of the thumb, top and bottom. And then I will just stamp. I think I'm going to use Autumn Breeze and, I'm sorry, Autumn Breeze and Fall Leaves in the center. Oh, okay. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay. I'm like in love with how these turned out. This came out better than I had envisioned in my mind. And I love when that happens. Okay, so my lighting is like making this a lot more difficult. But yeah, it looks really nice, guys. I'm, I'm pleased. I really am. Okay, so here is what we have for this design. All glossy top coat. I just felt like the matte took away from the chrome so yeah but i love love how it turned out i think it was so much fun i really enjoyed creating this especially like i really like to try to plan out designs and then sometimes when i plan it like to the nail it doesn't work but then when i do it this way it's kind of like oh off the top of my head and it works i mean it works either way but i guess it just depends sometimes for me I really, really enjoyed this and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And here we have it for the Madame Glam gel polishes that were sent to me for review. Once again, I want to say a big, big thank you to Madame Glam for sending me these polishes to review for you guys. Let me know what are your thoughts. What do you guys think? Honestly, again, Madame Glam polishes are so amazing. I just feel like you cannot go wrong. I really, really love High Vibration, which is this one this is so sparkly and so much fun again like i feel like i might have to try and incorporate the high vibration into a nail art look soon or maybe like new year's nails i don't know perfect black again no complaints it is a solid black again prosperous which is the green absolutely love i don't love greens like that now pumpkin pie i was kind of humming and hawing but it was the perfect orange perfect orange for the fall nail art so i really appreciate that and of course the namesake virgo and witch's night which is the purple so i'm very pleased with all these as always guys i will make sure to have everything linked down below for you guys if you do have any comments and or questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you know anyone that might be interested in a video like this go on ahead and give it a share and as, as always please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when i post more content and until next time stay glamorous <laughs>